How to do adventure folks, I'm Frosted Fluff, welcome back to another episode of Frosted Fluff's Gaming Stuff. Today we're going to be jumping back into Nowhere Girl, I believe this is episode 4, uh, and we're just picking up where we last left off, which I believe was uh, uh, chilling out at the apartment with uh, Sudo. And anyways, here we go. Uh, she's beautiful! It's a trap, I'm going to be a total sucker and fall for another girl that I can't have. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, things seem to be kind of working out with uh, Holly. She was worried about you when you weren't there and when you didn't say hi to her at work the other day, so who knows? But it's different now. I know what I'm doing this time. Ooh, we've got some confidence. I like it. And this time, it's the right thing to do. So look into her eyes a little longer, Frosty Fluff. Yeah, if you're awake, she's going to be awake any second now. It's going to hurt later, no doubt about it. And she's awake. But better to rip the bandage off now rather than later. Enjoy her while you have her. Ah, that's... I like the attitude. Real 180. She's beautiful! I almost feel lucky waking up to her, next to her. Hi! Hey. So, this is... I was just gonna say, where's the... Uh, where'd the music go? So, this is pretty romantic, right? Waking up next to me? That's gotta help. Uh, yeah, it kinda does. Damn, I was hoping you'd make a joke about it so it didn't... So I didn't feel so bad about it. Shush. We have to linger on that. Or we don't have to linger on that. <laughs> Okay. Today's our date. Great. Where would you like to go? Well, how about a picnic? Huh? Think about it. Sun, some peace of quiet, we'll make a lunch, and then I'll eat it out and you'll smell it. I'll eat it and you'll smell it. Silence. What? I don't know. Sounds kind of boring. What are we going to do? Plenty of things. We could feed the ducks. We could... They've got a tennis court and a shuffleboard. Oh, come on now. I... I thought it sounded nice, uh, wholesome and nice. You don't think a picnic sounds nice? Maybe if I could feel the sun, eat anything, and walk more than ten feet away from you. Ouch. <laughs> Yeesh, that'll teach me to try to have a little bit of, uh, wholesome fun. What else you got? What about a movie? So a movie, then we don't talk to each other, or interact for two hours, and then we come home, come back here and watch another movie? Yipes, you are picky. Okay, but those are... Bad, both bad ideas. Our goal is to make you fall madly and deeply in love with me, sitting and doing nothing for two hours. Plus, what if someone sits down next to you? Okay, fine. It was a stupid idea. Why don't just go into the mall and see what we can find? Because I'm running on empty with ideas here. Actually, sounds kind of nice. We can see the sights. People watch. People probably won't think you're weird for talking to me. Oh, that's right. I had an idea. What's that? I go searching through my computer drawer, my fingers scrambling through pens, papers, and what must have been a spilled bottle of vitamins or something. Ha ha, here it is. It's a hands-free headset. Oh, great. I'm happy for you. Uh, I don't like that hesitation. Maybe she's got, she's scheming up some kind of plan. Uh, so if I put this thing in my ear and talk to you, then no one will think I'm crazy. It's about time you came to that conclusion. Oh, I get it now. Cool, that's... Oh, sorry. Oh, I get it now. Cool, that's actually great. Because that was getting kind of annoying. Not as annoying as not being able to talk to anyone else at all. But close. That's fair. So, want to just go to the mall then? Sure, why not? I've literally never been to one. I'm not sure that joke totally reads anymore. It's clear you have human experiences. Why? Like I could say mall to you, and you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you have been to a mall. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, let's get this date started. I like the enthusiasm that kind of sprang out of nowhere. That's a tiny mall. It really, it took really no time at all to get here. It did, however, take forever to park when we got here. That was bullshit. Yeah, but it wasn't anyone's fault. Sure it is. How do you figure? Well, think about it. It's not like we got crappy parking. We got a fine spot. You would have chosen a crappy spot if you knew there would be one for you. That's insufficient parking. At the surface of what? More shops? Hey. Hey, yeah, now I'm pissed off. You should be. Whatever, let's go inside and find something to munch on. You're pretty hungry, I bet. You say that like you're being clever. You know damn well I'm pretty hungry. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the music's gone. This looks more like a restaurant than it does a mall. But then again, it could be a restaurant inside the mall. Any, uh, anywhere you feel like having me eat specifically? I have a game we could play. That doesn't answer my question. No, no, it does. Hear me out. Try to guess what I'm in the mood for. Maybe we share the same appetite, too. Uh, sure. Well, I'm looking around at the food court. Definitely not pizza. Ooh, I could use some pizza right now. A steak would be nice, too. 
Especially terrible mall food chain pizza. Am I close? I'm not telling you. You didn't tell me what I want. I only, only what I don't want. Shiza. Okay, fine. Let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I bet that you're in the mood for... Ooh. You know what? Chinese takeout does sound good. I'm gonna go with that. The, the answer is... None of them. They all look terrible. Oh, come on. That doesn't count. I guess Chinese wouldn't be bad if I had taste buds. Okay. We get line to order. Suda floats by my side the entire time. Get the pineapple shrimp. You can't even taste what I'm going to get anyways. I kind of can. Okay, fine. What the hell? Is it more expensive here? Like at the specific location? I could get the same pineapple shrimp from the same restaurant cheaper back in town. Looks like it shouldn't cost that much, but I total, but I don't really have a frame of reference. I, yeah, I guess it is. By how much? Bajillion dollars. Three bucks more than anywhere else I get it. What the hell? And you still have to stand in line to get it. Welcome to oh, wait, welcome to the American Mall. That's crap. Well, it's crap that we fell for. We fell for just like everyone else. So quit complaining. No, don't make me stop. I like complaining. Uh, yeah, she. Maybe she's got something she's holding. Or maybe she's holding some kind of grudge that I'm not aware of that she's eventually going to spill out. And that's why she's complaining a lot. So I'm just going to say... Fine, then continue. Just get it out of her system. Cool. So I shall. You can stop me if you wanted to. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like that. You know what? I bet the food sucks. The food did suck. <laughs> Where should we go on our next date? I don't know. Let's just keep walking like we already were. Why? No, no, let's just keep looking at things together. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were looking for things to complain about. It's like the only fun I've had in literally ever. It's nice and it's relief. Like, oh my god, look at that kiosk. Which one? Who would wear that shirt? That's hideous. What cartoon character is that? I think it's an old princess flick. Why is she dressed like that? And in his mugshot. I couldn't tell you. That's not even like punk. It's like... This weird pump goth trash mixture, and it looks terrible. I frankly don't know how it is. How it is that you're even wearing punk or goth. Somewhere in my gut, my hollow ghostly gut, I know that lip rings don't go with the bandana knots. Am I correct on that one? I really have no idea. I'm not a fashion designer. Well, it's disgusting. I'm having a wonderful time telling you that. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You're more negative than I had you pinned down for, to be honest. I thought you wanted to be more, like, energetic. And I do. I bet you'd really, I bet I'd really like life. But you wouldn't rather be at the park soaking in some sunlight? Sorry, oh, I got that backwards. Nope, I'd rather be complaining here with you. Well, where should we go now? We ended up walking around some more, complaining about everything Suda could come up with an excuse to complain about. She managed to find a way to complain about the kids area. I just don't see why they shouldn't have a place to have fun. I'm not saying they shouldn't. It's a great idea. I'm just saying that there should be a wall around it. Or it should be like a separate room. If I was a child of the doctor, this would be like a buffet to me. I'd already be cutting magazines to make the ransom notes. My goodness, you're dark. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Of course I'm dark. Yeah, that's kind of coming out of nowhere. Maybe that's uh, foreshadowing how she became a ghost in the first place. Uh, she made me buy a blueberry tea that she swears that she can taste. I guess I have no reason to not believe her. So tell me something, honestly. Shoot. What's the big idea with, or big deal with Holly? Say what? I watched you two all night on Friday and I walked away not knowing what the big goddamn deal was. You walked away, huh? <laughs> Fluttered away, go to hell. If you're trying to get me to fall in love with you, this might be the wrong conversation. Mm -hmm. Nope, I think it's a totally logical question. I'm taking the casual approach to me. I'm taking you the casual approach to making you fall in love with me, and it's working. I like this music. Cause you just sat through me complaining to you for like two hours and you still bought a blueberry tea. So I think I have a right to hear your thoughts on this lady. Cause like you're telling me she's the one. I wish. No, she's probably not the one. Then you're giving up on her? I don't know. Can you at least tell me what it is you like about her so much? Ooh, is that jealousy I'm getting? Uh, I'm get some jealousy vibes we've spent a lot of time together she was always nice to me and she takes care of lunch and we have these deep conversations yeah and she's excited to see me when I go into work 
it's the best feeling in the world, going into work, knowing someone's glad you're there. Especially someone as purtiful as her. She sounds like a really, really good friend. She is. But you didn't answer my question, because everything you just said sounds like a good friend material. What makes you want to seal the deal with this lady? Because she's like, amazing and ambitious, and if she's happy to see me when I get to work, what if she was happy to see me when I got home? That's a life I could end up living happily. I could totally get behind that. So what you're saying is you want a wife who loves you? Yeah, who doesn't? Fair, but I feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be this lady who, in all honesty, she's kind of condescending. You don't know her like I do. So far, it just sounds... Uh, sorry. So far, it just kind of sounds like she's your best friend and you see wife material in her. I don't see the connecting tissue. Like, why she's the one. She probably isn't. Can we not talk about this? Sure, of course. Sorry, my bad. We eventually started walking back to the car. I finished the blueberry tea and tossed it in the garbage can. It wasn't bad. I wouldn't have ha usually had it, but I ended up liking it. What if she's right? What makes Holly the one? I'm sorry. Huh? For what? Shut down the conversation like that. It's fine. No worries. Where did you bark anyways? Damn. Now I want to continue talking about it. I can't help but... I can't help how I feel about her. And I still feel like I'm hurt somehow by the way she was talking about the future. And about me. So dismissively. Here you are. Hey! Uh-huh. Oh, I walk right past my car. Okay, cool. Let's get home. But, but, but. Nice to be back. Did you want to pop on something to watch? Maybe. Did you want to go anywhere else tonight? Depends on when you're up to. I'm really good either way. Okay. I feel like, uh, it feels like I haven't showered in forever. Mind if I do that? Oh, yeah, sure. <gasps> this could go in a very interesting direction. Do you mind turning around? I guess, but there's a big mirror there. Well, could you close your eyes then? Sure, no problem. If I recall correctly, she could see through her eyes, so I don't think that's going to matter. Besides, we're trying to get her to fall in love with me, right? So I just show off my six-pack and my biceps, triceps, and all my other good muscular stuffs. And we're well on our way to a romantic relationship. My eyelids are kind of semi-visible, though, so I'll turn away and close my eyes. Damn it. Here, I'll just take my clothes off behind the smoky glass shower door. Great, good idea. Cool. Ooh, shower stuff. I get uh, myself naked behind the privacy and safety of the shower door and turn on the water. Hey. What's up? Is it weird if we still talk while you shower? No, that's fine. What's up? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, her butt is facing through the shower door. What the hell? Was I too negative at the mall today? Uh, how about you just keep talking and I'm just going to keep showering and... Uh... <laughs> Uh, what? What the? We're... I'm sorry, it's kind of loud in here. Say again? Was I too negative? I know I was doing the whole funny ranting thing, but I didn't bum you out, did I? Does she not notice her butt passing through the door? Is she, like, just naked under that thing? Like... Not that I'm complaining, it's just... She should be more considerate of how she kind of phases through stuff. <laughs> uh, anywho, does she not notice her butt facing through the door? It's hard to look away. Yeah, I have to agree with that one. I must have not noticed her butt before. It wasn't pressed up against me while I was trying to talk to a co-worker. It's a considerable butt. It's a considerable butt in size and shape. Well... Wait, shit. Was she... What was she asking me? <laughs> uh... No. Oh, cool. I was worried. I didn't come off as a bummer. Come off like as a bummer at all? Oh, no, 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 no. You were fine. Great. Phew. Her butt is still facing through the sliding door. How does she not notice? Do I tell her? Oh, okay, it's gone. Oof, the ghost butt. Anything in particular you want to put on tonight? I don't know, you want to watch a movie or a show? I'm good for either. Breaking Bad! Recently just got into that series uh, recently, and it's so good. I uh, just finished my working my way through uh, season two, or I'm about halfway through season two right now. And if it was, at first it was kind of slow, really died down a lot, but uh, it's starting to pick it up again, and I'm, uh, I'm kind of infatuated with that. On top of that, I'm also watching, uh, sorry, I'm rambling. Back to the conversation. I'm good for either. I don't suppose you can play video games. No, I'm going to guess not. No video games? Yikes, I'm not looking forward to being a ghost. Yeah, I bet you've got some fun games too. Damn it, it's back. 
I don't think that's anything to complain about that. <laughs> well, I'm coming out now. Just, I don't know, look in a corner or something. Okay. Pizza should be on its way soon, then. I'm going to be honest, though. After pizza, uh, I might just want to go to bed. Yeah, me too. I yawn immediately after saying this. She yawns at the same time. Guess that's another weird overlap. Did you Did you have fun today? It was alright. Not a bad day, all things considered. I just wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. Preach, my brother. Neither do I. <laughs> well, there's uh, well, there's only one way to pay for pizza. For this, after all. Wait. Well, there's only one way to pay for this pizza, after all. Ain't that the truth? A moment of silence. Nothing in the background. A little wind kicking at the window. Pseudo. So, is it working? Do you mean... Are you starting to feel differently about me? I suppose I am. I suppose that I am. A little. Uh, I'm sure I'll be in love with you in no time, Pseudo. While enthusiastic, I think we should be realis realistic and say, I hope you know that's going to take... Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's be enthusiastic. Let's go with the enthusiastic crowd. Uh, I'm sure I'll be in love with you in no time, Pseudo. Oh, stop! Not with my achy break your heart. I'm sure it'll be no time at all. You're too kind. Even that blush you're doing right now. You're very attractive. Well, thank you so much. I guess I'd better get, uh, better start... I guess I'd better start getting ready for work tomorrow so I can just crash after pizza. I suppose you had better do that, Frosty Fluff. I suppose you'd better do the same. I'm sure I'm fine. I was probably just going to wear that... Wear what I've got on. Hey. <laughs> Frosted Fluff? Yeah? It's not... going to be easy for me to let go of you either. I'd like to think we've become good friends. Me too. Exactly. Ah. Uh, we get the cute, uh... really chill music again. I like this tune. Hi. I had fun today. Have you always been so negative, Elise? Yes. That's actually good to hear. It. Thanks. No problem. Uh, no problem. Chapter 8. Mornings, but different. Pseudo silence. And she's awake. Hey there. Hi. Man, I really crashed last night. So what are we up to today? Work. I've got work today. Okay. I don't want to go today. Especially not today. Couldn't tell you why. You're tired and exhausted. Believe me, it's seeping over. The idea of floating around your desk doing nothing all day sounds miserable. Except you actually have to get work done there, which, I mean, yikes. I know it sounds miserable. I don't want to go. Call out sick. I can't do that, Pseudo. Why not? Out of sick days? No. Important day to be there? Not particularly. At least not any more than any other day. It's been at least a little while since the app was sent out to our client. Okay. So, you're entitled to a sick day occasionally, right? Yeah. Especially after you already worked sick once last week, right? Damn, Pseudo, you're starting to wear me down. Not gonna lie. I might just do that. But what are we going to do with our day instead? I don't know. Anything. Your choice. With how much you hate your job, I'm kind of surprised you have six days left. Sick days left. <laughs> I haven't actually used any of them. Like, since I got hired, only one was when Pseudo first arrived. I haven't taken a vacation in four years. Damn! Feels weird. It's no wonder why you hate your job. <laughs> you need, uh... You need a vacation there, buddy. It feels weird. It's Monday, but I won't be sitting at my desk and I won't be seeing Holly. I'll just be all on my own. With Pseudo, of course. But functionally on my own. I don't hate my job, Pseudo. I call baloney. Okay, whatever. But I'm still surprised you haven't taken all your sick days. Maybe I don't get sick all that often. So you never play sick? I do not. Wow, you must love taking calls. Sure do. Now, let me go call my work. Make sure you cough at least once. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Boss man, I can't go in. Good job. Mm-hmm. You should have made your voice scratcher, though. <laughs> well, or I don't know. Not sound like you were just politely asking for a personal day. Hmm. What are you doing anyways? What's on your phone? Just the weirdest thing. What? So I decided to look into books about ghosts, but they all seem to be the haunting a house ghosts. I couldn't imagine haunting a house. That sounds boring. What, so you just sit around all day waiting to scare someone? Then they scream and run outside and you're like, that's it. That's the highlight of my day. Wow, what a thrill. 
I hope I get to do it tomorrow too. And you know what? It's like implied that they're not even doing it for fun. It's because they're like tortured or something. I tell you, you'd have to be a real loser to be that kind of ghost. Aren't you glad to be stuck with me and not the shitty kind of ghost? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's. Yeah, that just brings up a pretty good point. So we're gonna go with that. I'm happy to hear it. You got it pretty easy. I lied the ghost market. Sure did. So what exactly are you doing again? Well, I found a book called Personal Ghosts, Unchaining Yourself from Your Spirit by some guy, and it was written in, like, the 1970s, and it's only uh, available at the library. Which library? Local one. Oh, so it's close by. I'm oh, sorry, close. That was supposed to be in uh, Ghosty's voice. It would seem to be. Cool, we should go pick it up. Yeah, maybe that could help us out a little, huh? Besides, I haven't been to the library in ages. Let's do it. Oh god, I hope we don't run into like a coworker on the way there or at the library. Wow! This place is enormous! I didn't even know that libraries could be so big! That's because that's a courthouse. We're next door. Oh, that? I thought that was a gift shop. It's not. Darn! You had me go in there for a minute. I don't think I did or said a single thing that led you to the wrong conclusion. You parked in front of the courthouse. Whatever, let's go inside. Get a groove on, grab a coffee. Let's start this day right. And if we have to run to our coworker, we're just gonna say uh, we thought this was a convenience store, and we're we're gonna get some cough drops. Anywho, okay, let's well, way break on the inside. This is a fairly big library. It actually goes particularly, or it actually goes partially underground. So cool. I gotta run this number by a librarian so they can show me what this book is. The internet said that they had checked out or lost, but it's an old and obscure book. I will be honestly surprised if they have it where it's supposed to be. Hey. I had an idea. Can I check out a book? Well, obviously not. You can't talk to anyone. <laughs> Smart ass. Uh, let's go with sarcastic. Oh, meow meow. What, meow meow? What is that? <laughs> or I guess it's supposed to be meow meow or meow. Whatever. I obviously can't check out a book by myself. Jerk. What I meant was, will you check out a book for me, please? Oh, sure. Which one? What for? I don't know, but it would sure make spending time at your job a lot nicer. Oh, that's a great idea, Suda. Thanks. Sure, keep an eye out for anything you're interested in while I look for... What was it called? Personal Ghosts? Will do. After finding a librarian, I was pointed to the exact location that the book could be found. It didn't even take her, like, a second. Third floor, nonfiction near the stairs. Damn, we're, apparently we got some kind of sage working at the, uh, this library. <laughs> Using some kind of magical device called a computer. I bet. She was a stone cold professional. That was crazy. Find anything you're interested in yet? No, not yet. I highly recommend any of the Halo books. They're all phenomenal. Especially the ones by Eric Nyland, one of my favorite authors. That's it. I also been going through a couple of uh, military books. One I've uh, been going through is uh, called Unflinching, The Making of a Canadian Sniper. It's by uh, Jody Middick. And during his time in uh, the service as a sniper and uh, his time overseas and then some of his life afterwards. Oh, such a good book. I highly recommend it if, uh, for those of you that like to uh, read every now and again. Anywho. Hey, wait, this one. Sure, no problem. A nonfiction about Everest? Sure. Any particular reason? Nah. Okay. So that lady said that the... Oh, hey. There it is, Personal Ghost by S. Baker. Let's just take a look before checking it out. Sure. Will you find a table and sit down? Okay, so... Boring. Can you even open a book? Let me try. I place her Everest book on the table and watch her playfully attempt to grip at his pages. After a moment, it stops being playful. It becomes determined. Then it becomes incensed. Pseudo stop. But it's so light, why can't I move it? Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I think I can make gusts of wind happen. <gasps> Let me try that. Please be able to do that, so that way you can possess my body. Give me superpowers. Spice up, and uh, that could help uh, spice up a relationship with uh, Holly. She'll be so impressed with my uh, awesome... Uh, 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 the, what's the wind avatar? Uh, wind nation? <laughs> uh, Aang's uh, airbending, that's what it was. Oh my god. It took me a second to get that down. Suda concentrates for a moment, and seconds later, a light breeze knocks open the covers and pages of both my books and hers. I did it! That's that's great. Can you make it open to a page one? 
Her book opens straight to page 203. Ah! A short breeze later and the book is once again closed. No. That's okay. We'll figure something out later. That wind thing is cool, though. Yeah! We'll still check it out. Cool. Hey, blow some of that wind at that library. Oh, okay. I inch closer to the librarian so that Sudo can get close. She raises her arms and creates a breeze around the aged woman, clicking away at her computer. The woman is comically stone-faced and unaffected. Even as the breeze picks up, she doesn't even appear to be breathing. The only sign of life is the occasional click. Wow, she just did not budge. That is so cool. Can you imagine, like, it's summer, it's like 38 degrees outside, and you'd be like, Sudo, can you, uh, help me cool things down a bit? That'd be awfully cool of you. It's amazing, really. What the hell was she looking at, even? It was her social media. The thing is, like, it was, like, all corporate accounts. Like, an oatmeal brand, commercials for bread. I think I saw laundry detergent. Weird. Want to go pick out some more books? Can I? Yeah, of course. They're free, after all. All right. I walk slowly up and down the hallways of books, letting Sudo scan her eyes over each shelf. During this time, I'm given to thinking. She hasn't made a joke or anything regarding whether I'm falling in love with her today. I keep expecting it to happen. She jokes about it even enough to where it seems like something that's constantly on her mind. <gasps> we need to get her uh, mental gears go rolling, uh, but not today. Talk about some TV shows, like The Mandalorian. Ugh, such an, another such an amazing show. Uh, another amazing show. I just can't English today. <laughs> then again, it is like 2.30 a.m., so... Eh. She could be acting respectful. Maybe she's just feeling less conscious about it. Or she's forgotten. Not like lost the information. Maybe she just got not thinking about it. My, uh, my arms fill up with three different decently sized books, one of which appears to be at least 500 pages. Ready! Great, let's get out of here. Window crash. <laughs> we didn't end up reading any of, the, any of that book at the library. But it was again free, so no skin off my nose. Okay, Sudo, you ready to see what we can find out about this book? Sure, let's do it. Okay, let me uh, get comfy. I clear my throat and kick my feet up. This could be a long night of reading, but maybe we can get some kind of help. It's not unheard of, I suppose. Personal ghost. Unchaining your spirit. Chapter 1. Becoming the best that you can be. Oh, wait. Oh, fork, no. Uh oh. Uh, let's keep reading. The spirits you chain. Have you ever asked yourself why is it that we call the demon spirits we keep with us baggage? This overused phrase captures the feeling of getting a uh, getting a bag that is way too big up a flight of stairs. It's exhausting to hold, and you simply wish that you could place your baggage down and be free of it. But you haven't unpacked your baggage yet. Perhaps it's that baggage you're carrying around. It might be, in fact, something worse. Much worse. If you ever felt as though your baggage were following you around, around every corner, haunting you where you least expect it. Damn it! No, wait, keep going! He mentioned haunting! No, I don't want to keep going. What if they're leading to something? What if I'm an emotional spirit? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Why not? She did ask nicely. Okay, fine. Well, then it's a good thing you picked up this book. My name is Dr. Soren Baker, and I'd like to help you unchain yourself from the spirits holding you back from being the best you. No, Pseudo, I'm not going to keep going. <laughs> the fifth chapter is Fighting Addip uh, Addiction with the Power of top, uh, Positivity. This book isn't going to help us at all. Damn! Another dead end then? Ugh, looks like it. You know what? This isn't much. This isn't as much of a bummer as last time. Why do you say that? I don't know. I kind of already figured this one wouldn't turn out to be anything. I guess I did too. And I had fun visiting the library, and I'm looking forward to reading my books. You made this. Oh, sorry. You made this a pretty great day so far. I'm glad. Don't lose hope, Sudo. I won't. Worst thing that happens, I wake up with you tomorrow. I think that's really the worst case scenario we have right now. It's not as though we're at our... <coughs> <laughs> My apologies for that. <laughs> it's not as though we're raising the clock. Uh, I suppose that's true. It is. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have managed to make this ple make this a pleasant imprisonment. Uh huh. Thanks. So, did you want to talk about anything? Why don't I ever remember your name when I wake up? I don't know. Why don't I ever remember telling you any of this when I wake up? I don't know. I guess it's just another weird stipulation of your curse. My curse? Yeah. How is this not our curse, Alice? Because I know how I got here. It's not a curse. It's exactly what I deserve. 
But it's not what you deserve. I'm just a burden on you. Wait, how? How are you a burden on me? How did you get stuck to my leg? I've said too much. Well, wait, do you know... Wait, do you know all of this when we're awake? Why are you stuck to me? What don't I know? Is this all your fault? Is it mine? Alice, come back. And it's awake o'clock. I guess we're going into a new chapter. We're going to be waking up to Purdy Full. <gasps> She's so pretty. Time went on like that. That all said, folks, I think that's what I'm going to call it because I think I did mention not too long ago. It is after 2.30 a.m. Getting a wee bit tired. But uh, again, uh, enjoying this gameplay so far. Again, it's not as action-packed as other games I've been playing. But the story is so good. I'm loving the, the relationship that we're building with uh, Sudo. It seems to be on the upswing right now. And uh, I'm excited to see what else is going to be hiding around the corner for us and see where things take us. That will said, if you guys like the video, f again, feel free to put a like on the video. Comment what you like about it so far and what you want to see in the future. And uh, until next time, folks, have a good one.